I'm Blaine Carr, right? I'm Rider Size. We're Nashville Pussy. And you're watching Rockin' Live. We're back on fucking tour, you know. We're in Paris, and today I saw a parking garage, and I saw the front of Moulin Rouge for the 15th time. That's it. <laughs> We're back on not getting to see anything in the best cities in the world. Not enough sleep, good shows at night. Back to work. You know the fucking ain't no crime. In fact, I do it all the time. Yeah, well, it was. We got the title after we recorded the record, and it was one of those one of the song titles. And it just seems like um, it just seemed like it captured the whole spirit of the energy on the on the album, like the art the artwork included, like that all came after after we recorded the album. And we're like, we just gave the um, we gave our artist. The, the record itself and said what do you think you know come up with some art and actually he's a Frenchman he's Alex de Meyer from uh, I think he's from Lyon and he designed all the artwork and um, everything about this record was kind of yeah it was all up in the dosage for sure it was a little more I mean it's not serious but it's just a little more distilled if that makes sense you know what distilled means like when you boil something for a long time on the stove and it goes from here to here. That's like, if our old records were here, this one is like, you know, it's down to the purest elements. Like, that's the way it feels to me. Well, we actually, um, we did it in a very short period of time. We recorded, we wrote all the songs in about 10 days, like concentrated effort, like just me, Blaine, Jeremy, our drummer, and Eddie Spaghetti from the Super Suckers. He came in, we all went into one room together and just focused. And we didn't leave until it was finished. Like, it was like, we have to write, I think we wrote 14 songs in 10 days and it was, it was relatively easy. And then we did the same thing in the studio. We went in for maybe two weeks and psh, the whole thing was completed. So it was, we, uh, we waited until the very last minute to do it. So we, we didn't have any choice. <laughs> we had to do it in a very short period of time. What is a night never day? All I want to do is play. The world is in the fucking way. No matter where you're bound. Oh yeah, <laughs> everything we own is vintage. <laughs> uh, the uh, guitars were that's just ones you use on stage pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have a, uh, a 1954 Champ Fender Champ, and it's we are all getting shocked plugging it in. And that's how bad it was. It's how vintage it is. It just it just buzzes like it only crazy. Has two sometimes. prong. Yeah, it's two prong, um, and. Uh, <laughs> And we had to have a distortion pedal, which was also old, old that Bonnie brought. Seventies. No, I think it's from the sixties. Maybe, maybe, maybe seventies. Yeah, but everything. So that was forty years old. The amp's like sixty years old, and and uh, you know, and so we like we're plugging the stuff in along the tuner, and we're all getting shocked. <laughs> going up around. I was like, ah, like, you get to like get kind of like we, gloves on, and I like, use yeah. that amplifier on every single fucking song. I think we went like all the electric songs. Use amplifier and all all the. Uh, I think we kept a lot of your solos, or we jammed with. All of them. Yeah, the solos are from Marshalls, the vintage too. But uh, compared to the, compared to the Fender Champ, those are modern, I guess. Yeah, I mean, my idea of modern is like uh, everything from seventy on. I use seventy, so yeah, everything's vintage as hell. Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah, well I just I got tired of everyone thinking it's a dirty word because like uh, 
uh, when we started the band, I thought pussy was on the cusp of being accepted word that people said on TV. And I was really wrong about that. Man, but what I always thought is kind of insulting was the word bitch, which has become like, was really a bad word when I grew up. And now they say that in the Disney Channel, practically. They say yeah. B. They call it, yeah, you won't be such a B. It's like, so if you can, I mean, bitch is bitch, 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 bitch. They say that all over TV, but you can't say pussy. So I just thought that was like bad. I was like, pussy's not a dirty word. Yeah. It's officially because I said so, or we yeah. said so. Yeah, no. we say so. We say it's not a dirty word. No. Officially now. It's, feel free to say it, everybody. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Do other stuff. Um... I don't know. It's not, I mean, it just, fear of getting a real job. Yeah, fear of getting a real job. That's a um, really motivating factor. That's what got us doing other projects and, uh, and having our own record company and our own Plus, radio you know, station. Blaine has an awful lot to say. So. Yeah, yeah. So I just, I don't know. It, it's, you think it's going to die out, but it doesn't seem to yet. You know, it seems like still there's still stuff that pops in my brain. That I think I gotta tell everybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Blaine's a. He's like. Not only does he have a lot to say, if you give us like 10 minutes off from the road, we'll go do another band. Like we, yeah. we have so much fucking energy for music, it's ridiculous. Like he's in two other bands, I'm in another band, we have another band together. Like when we're not in Nashville Pussy, we're in the studio playing yeah. with other people. We're doing all sorts of other shit. He has his own fucking radio station yeah. like that he runs now. It's playing right now. It's called Slinging Pig Radio. And it's because he had a month off. Like, what do I do? Like, I know, I'll start a radio station. Like, he's, whatever, he's a fucking genius. He does oh, this shit. <laughs> like, he starts a band, like, you know, you, if you shut your eyes for too long, he'll write a whole fucking record, you know? Like, he's written, we've both written collectively four or five albums since the last Nashville Pussy album. Like, yeah. we just, we stay busy all the time. And like, music just falls out of our bodies. Like, still the most fun, <laughs> it's, it's still, is. <laughs> Sounds corny, but music's still the most fun and gratifying thing that I've come across in life, and consistency too. You know, I mean, there's other great stuff too, but uh, I mean, it's seriously, it does seem seems to be the one thing that I've gotten out without putting it put in. Yeah. You know, and uh, and, it's, and it's hard, and be, you're in, and most is the job that most people want, so I always feel lucky. You know, so it's like you know, I, I, it's a job like if you're uh, an athlete or a baseball player, you know, you. You feel lucky and you play till you can't. <laughs> it's just, you go full throttle till you can't do it anymore, you know? Yeah. We'll see when that is, you know? Hopefully not for a while. <laughs> it's difficult to just satisfy everybody, and this. This set list is great. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's really liked this one. Uh, they're bass player before Karen. She tend to like... Most of our bass players tend to like what they... The songs how they, they play, play it on. Now, yeah. you know? And so we really wore out... Because Karen was in the band eight years. We wore out from Hell to Texas and get some. And then uh, once, she was, uh, once Bonnie came in... Bonnie's a fan of she's the fan. Of the, she's a fan. Pussy fan. Fan of the old stuff. So we got, yeah, we got a lot of. We brought back a lot of songs from Hell. Yeah, she's and got. A, she's got a list of songs she wants us to play from yeah. the old days. So it's really cool having a new a new player in the band. We do like three new songs right now. We'll probably by the time we come around again, we'll probably do like seven new songs. But yeah, yeah. breaking in a little bit of time. But yeah, it's, it's it's hard to make a set list. Sometimes everyone else doesn't bitch about it. <laughs> Because so, he did put a lot of work into it, and then people go, like, no, I don't want that. But no, it's, this one, this band's been easy. We've had this set list since Brazil, and it's been a good one, man. And uh, we brought by Keep On Fucking, which is great, because, I mean, I don't know why that got dropped. Some of the songs, like Go To Hell, Keep On Fucking, uh, we just did so much. And then, you know, it's been years since we did them. And you're going, man, let's bring that one back. That sounds good. You know, that was such a great song. Cool. Next. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. 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 We're here.
Pussy is not a dirty word. Yeah, favorite favorite country in the world. Viva la pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Viva la pussy libre. Yeah, it's, it's our second home, you know. Free France. pussy. It's our second home. It's like I I, I love France. It's like, it's like it looks like Kentucky, except. Not Paris doesn't. <laughs> hey, you have like, a Paris. There's a Paris, Paris Kentucky. There's a Paris Kentucky. It does not look like this that. one's better too. Yes, this Paris is we better. We like yeah. your Paris better. Definitely. <laughs> and-